In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a simple slideshow or short video for Mother's Day celebration. She gave me life, showed me what was right, taught me not to fight the battles that weren't worth the fight. Right from the start, she held me close, and as time went on, she was strong enough to let And this is coming up. Hi everybody, it's Innocent and welcome to the channel. Over here we make videos like this. If that is something that sounds like you're interested, kindly consider subscribing. So if you have images and videos of you and your mother and your siblings, you can use this approach that I'm about to show you to put them together in a slideshow or a short video to celebrate your mom coming this Mother's Day. The software you're using is Wondershare Filmora. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to download it. And all the stock images and videos that I got are from Pixels. And I got a very beautiful music from YouTube as well. All links will be in the description. So in Filmora, the first thing you're going to do when you open the software is you're going to create a project and then you're going to import your media. So I've already imported my media, but if you want to import it, you go to the import media over here. And then you select the location where you have your videos and your images and then you can select all of them or any one of them that you want to import and then you click on open now since i've imported my video already i'm going to leave it like this the first thing you're going to pay attention to is the music so if you have your music as mp3 you can easily drag it to the timeline like this but then if it is within an, an image or within a video like this you can bring it on the timeline and then you can right click go to audio and then detach audio and then you can delete the video or the image on top so that you'll be left with the mp3 only that is the music only now at this point you can place your cursor here slide to the right side to open your timeline and then you can drag your cursor to the very beginning of the music select the track and then you press ctrl b to cut or make a cut of the portion that you don't want you can right click and then repo delete so that the music will start at the very beginning of your timeline now at this point you're going to listen to the music and cut to the beat of where we want our videos to be like so for instance if you play it and then you want the next picture to come at this very point you can just place your cursor over here select the track and press ctrl b to make a cut and then you can drag it to let's say this point as well so over here and then you press ctrl b to make a cut so you listen to the music that you're using and then you are going to make the cut according to your music so in my case i listen to the beat at the end of the beat and then i made the cut accordingly so i'm going to take my time to make the cut and then i'll see you when i'm done so now that we've carefully chopped our music or cut the music to the beat we can then start adding the images and then the videos for the first four beats i want to add pictures to it and then for the rest of the beat i'm going to add videos now to make this quicker and simple for you you have images and then you have videos so you can use the filter over here to sort for only images so we're going to use only images for the first four beats these four beats so what we can do is we are going to drag the image on top of this particular track and then we can resize it so you see that there are some black bars over here you select you click on the image over here and then you are going to open it up like so 
so something like this as you want it and then you take your time to reposition it you can open from the top as well and then you reposition like that now to make it sync to the beat so that the next one will come right afterwards you are placing your keza right at the very end of the image and then you left click and drag it to the very end make sure that you see this blue line that means that it is at the very end so you can leave it over there so now when you drag it here the next one the next picture should come right at this point so we are going to drag the next picture over here select it and then we are going to scale it up so open it up like that take your time to position it like so and then you place your keza at the extreme right here left click and hold and drag it till you see the blue line and it means it is at the end now that we've added our images we can then go ahead and add our videos so we go back to the filter over here you remember we changed it to only image so we are going to click on it and we are going to change this to video so we have the videos over here that we are going to add so you can add your videos randomly so the first video that i'm going to add will be here now these videos are stock footage so they are already framed to fit the frame size that i'm using so i don't need to adjust it but just in case you want to adjust it you can also click on it and then open it up like that to adjust it and just like the image you can grab it from the right side pull it to the left side like this and then you can bring the next footage into it so i have this footage right over here you drag it you grab it from the right side pull it to the left till you see the blue line and it means that it has synced and then you can continue to add all the other videos to it now after we've added all our images and then the footages to it we need to make this especially the image it doesn't have to look this static so we are going to add some sort of animations or effects to it so when you select an image for instance you can double click on it and then at the image section over here we go to animation filmora has already given you some animations that you can use for instance if you double click on this it is going to show like that but we don't want to use this type of animations we want to customize our own to make it look better and this is in wondershare filmora 11 and the x so we are going to select customize over here at the very beginning of the image we are going to add a keyframe okay and then it looks like this we drag it to the very end of our image and then we can scale it up so what this basically means is that when it is starting so when the image is starting it is small like this and then it's kind of zooming slowly into it like this so we can select the second image also here by double clicking on it and then we can add a keyframe to the, at the very beginning and then we can drag it to the middle for instance scale it up like that and then drag it to this side the very end and then scale it back so something like that so basically when it starts it zooms in when it gets to the middle then it starts zooming back something like that and then if you want to do the reversal what you can do is you can double click on the image over here we are going to zoom in at the very beginning so we zoom in like that and then we will drag it to the very end of our image and then we are going to zoom it back in so something like this so that it's actually zoom so when we are starting it opens up like this and then it zooms back like that so i'm going to do the same thing for the last image all right so now that we've added animations to our images we can then add transitions to our videos as well because the videos are already in motion so we don't have to add any sort of keyframes to it so what we can actually do is add transitions to make the change in sequences very beautiful so to add transitions you go to the transitions over here if you had if you've downloaded the filmora 11 you would have to download all of these transitions so there are different transitions that we can use for any one of them that you want to use for instance if you want to add a transition between this video and this video you go and select the transition drag it in between the two videos and then you can place your keza at the extreme and close it up to make sure that it transitions very beautifully so you can close it up to make it small and this is how it will look like right. Tell me not to fight the 
so you can go ahead and add different transitions to different sequences i have a couple of them over here so for instance between these two clips i can add a transition over here like that and between these two clips i can add a transition over here as well so you add your transitions and then you take time to adjust them and now at the very end we are going to add a dissolve transition so that the video will fade off so you drag the transition and you put it at the very end so that the video will kind of transition into darkness so it will fade off okay so we will add that transition over here and for the music too we are going to add what we call the fade out so that when it gets to the very end the sound is going to fade off so we double click on the last part of the music that we cut and then we can add a fade out over here so you can drag it to the very part that you want so once it gets to this part it will start fading off so this is how it actually looks like all right so now we've added images we've added song to it now we can add titles as well the first title that i'm going to add i'm going to add a sample color over here remember your filter is still at videos so you click on that and you select all and then i have this black solid color over here so i'll drag it at the very beginning of the video now we can decrease the size of this to about three seconds so that it doesn't keep long and then on top of that we are going to add a title so to add titles you go to the title over here there are a couple of them that i've downloaded so you can use any one of them so we want to use this title you drag it on top of the black background that we added and then you can cut it to match so i have a quote that i copied from google so we can double click on the title over here go to advanced and then we are going to paste what we copied from google over here so you paste your quote or anything at all that you want to paste at the very beginning of the video and now we're going to select all of this we're going to change the size to be a bit smaller let's say 40 40 okay and then we are going to take our time to arrange the test to look nice for us so we can select all of this and then change the alignment to centered and we can use the controls over here to close it up now you take your time and then you can position it in the middle so once you have the blue lines that is going across the timeline you can see that it is in the middle and then you can leave it over there for test as well you can add animations to it to do that you go to animation over here and then you can scroll to any one of them that you want to use so i'm going to use the linear wipe over here and then we can click ok you can even play back from here to see how it actually looks like once you have the one that you want you click ok and then we are done with the first test on top of any one of these as well maybe if it is um, the pictures your mom's picture your siblings picture you can add test to all of these too so if you want to add test over here for instance you can copy the test by selecting the test over here press ctrl c to copy that and then you can paste it here but you realize that it has pasted in between the clips we don't want it that place so we can actually lock this layer or this timeline and then we can paste our test on top here and then to change it you can double click on it and add any test as at all that you want to add and then if it it's too small for you you can open it up like this and position it cool right so let's delete this because we don't want it over here and now we can go to the very end of the video and we want to add a very nice test effect over there so we go back to our titles and then scroll down to this called the title 25 we're going to place it right over here close it up small so that it doesn't fade into it and then we can double click on that title go to advanced and you realize that we have three timelines over here we have we don't want this particular 12 12 17 so we are going to select that timeline and delete it leaving this timeline and this one so we are going to change the title of this one so we select the test input over here and then we are going to type happy mother's day all right so we can select all of the tests and then we can change the alignment to the center and we can use the test size over here to reduce our test to any size at all that we want so i think 64 or 68 
looks way better and you should have your test like this at this point you've added your images your sound and then your test and if you don't want to add any more to it you can save your project by pressing ctrl s to save it so that later you can come back to add more to it but if what you've done looks way better for you you can then go ahead and export your video to mp4 so you click on the export over here and then you are going to give it a title you choose the location that you want to save it and i forgot to mention in the very beginning that the resolution that we used is the 1920 by 1080 so we want to export in 1920 by 1080 after you've done with everything you then go ahead and click on export all right so that is how you create a very simple slideshow or a short video for mother's day celebration you can use this to create a nice video for this coming mother's day celebration i hope this video was helpful if it was subscribe to the channel it will be so very kind of you thank you so very much for sticking around to watch this video i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and bye